My name is Tony Parks. I'm president of Ozark Shavings, and I wanted to give you a little background as to why we started what we're doing. And really, our story starts 80 to 100 years ago when these forests were clear cut. There was a big sawmill about 60 miles east of here at Grandin, Missouri, and it took all the pine timber from these sites. So everything that you see is second growth. And in the past, some of these stands were used for uh, local lumber. But uh, the forest now, there's very few uses uh, of these pine trees in this area. And so we started a company uh, that would utilize pine uh, from the Ozark area. The resources of these timberlands is extremely productive. As you can see, this particular tree has grown from over the last 80 years to 21 inches, which is quite a large tree. Our utilization, we take the bottom log of this particular tree and we put it into quality lumber moldings and different products that uh, require good growth characteristics uh, from this particular forest. As you look up this tree, you see a low grade component of the tree with the limbs that you see there. And we take that portion of the tree and we put it into shavings. In any forest, pine forest in the Ozarks, there are basically four different products that are utilized out of the forest. There's quality saw timber, shaving material, and then you'll see the nine on this particular tree. And we've come through this stand and we measure for utility poles. And then they're evaluated due to quality and height. And the number that is marked here is a reference to the logger to cut this tree a particular length and we take it back to licking and put it into the pole process. There are other products in the forest that we do the same classification with, and these are the smaller trees. These trees will be, and this particular tree is about eight inches in diameter at breast height, but these particular trees will be used for fence posts. Hi, I'm Randy from Ozark Shavings, and I'll tell you a little bit about our product and our meal. And and how we process uh, our premium flakes. We run it from the debarker out there, uh, peel the bark clean off, take it to the saw table out there and cut it into eight to 10 foot logs and that's what we bring in here. Our eight to 10 foot logs are shot in our shavers. Uh, these are our Jacksons. Uh, they hold uh, eight foot logs and less. And then our big one down on the end, there's our uh, big Douglas and that's uh, what we hold our 10 foot logs in. Before we run our shavings into our dryer, we do a constant check on our product to make sure it's consistent and same all the way through the process. As soon as our product gets done with the shavers, they come out of the main conveyor. They go up this one here into what we call the even flow. It's uh, shaked off through here. The product is uh, separated with, from the sticks that accidentally gets in there. Then goes up the other conveyor to the airlock and to the drum over here, which uh, is our burner, and dries our logs out. It's a three phase. It actually goes through that drum three times before it comes out in that big fan there at the end, and then into the cyclone. We're uh, in the shaker room right now. Uh, where our product is split into three different sections. Comes through the cyclone up on top, comes through our uh, fines are dumped out the bottom and uh, carried out to a fuel bin. And our other product is dumped into the hog to bigger pieces that is not product material. And it's ground back up and put back on the belts. Uh, our main product is then put on the belt and uh, shipped into the storage area and the bagger. One thing about our fines that come out the bottom of our shaker is uh, put through a tube back into our fuel bin, which actually fuels our burner. So it's pretty much self-sufficient. We don't use no outside burner and we use every drop of uh, waste and dust and everything else that comes out of this uh, back into the burner uh, to dry our shavings. So we don't waste anything. This is where our uh, product ends up in our bagging room comes through the surge bin up here, down through the bagger. It's compressed to 2.3 feet uh, to get it into the bag, it expands to 10, comes down the conveyors, and we have a robot here that stacks it pretty well by itself. Don't need no help that way. Uh, and then we uh, run it out the rollers there, 
and take it over to where we cap it and shrink wrap it. Now this right here is our uh, Ozark Shavings finished product. It's capped, wrapped, ready to go to the store. We keep it as waterproof as we can, that way it can set outside, but uh, it's ready for customer use. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about our product and uh, everything that we do up here. This is our premium bag, uh, big flake, and mainly used uh, all around everything. Everybody uses it for just about everything. Uh, it is a big flake. Made for bedding and everything. It's uh, one of our better selling products. It's awful good if you desire smaller stuff. We've got two other kinds. Uh, our select bag, if you want to go to a little bit smaller. This is mainly for calves, hogs, everybody likes it. This is our Poultry Plus product. It's uh, almost the finest besides our mini flake. This is mainly in the chicken houses and turkey houses that we send to. It's an awful good product for that. It's a smaller flake that you'll see compared to the big flake. It's a whole lot finer, littler flake. If you want the mini flake, which is uh, one thing that we just come out with a new label, is uh, something that a lot of the uh, horse people love because it's so easy to work with in their stalls. Uh, it's one of the things that a lot of even the hog farmers use it for hauling their hogs to the market and stuff in the trailers because it's so easy to clean up. But uh, the mini flake is a whole lot smaller. It's finer. Like in your horse barns, they use their forks to go through, pick up the manure, they leave the product behind. That way they don't have to always fill up the barns and replace and replace product. They can always leave this in and just add a little bit when they need it. But it's an awful good product for horses. I've had awful good uh, comments about it, of how people like it. We do have a little feedback here from a customer from uh, Roselle, Kansas. A pretty good compliment for a product from Joanne and Greg Umberger. Uh, says the quality is consistent bag to bag, month to month. She'd recommend the bedding uh, product to anyone. Uh, she really liked uh, that you could actually see the product inside the bag. Uh, it's visible. There's no way you can't see it. But uh, she really liked that. And that also the manageable size because she only weighs 125 pounds. But uh, they also sent a picture of their calves in the bedding and uh, how looks like they're pretty comfortable. One thing about our bags, they're all compressed. Uh, every product uh, is more convenient. Uh, according to shipping and hauling, you get more in the bag compared to bulk. It takes a lot less hauling. And if you don't mind, I'm going to spread one out right here for you and just show you how much product we can get in one bag. time you kick all this around, it's a bunch. And I'm just doing it just about the size of a stall. So you know just about, there's still clumps in here and stuff, but it'll give you a general idea that this thing will cover a lot of ground but just shows you there's a lot of shavings in one of them little bags. And uh, appreciate your business. And thank you. Go to your local store and check out all of our uh, products. And we have a new product coming out, Current River Shavings. Go to our uh, webpage, www.shavings.com. And the uh, number is 888-674. 4938 for more information.